How many people went to India? Have you recognized you are more, more American or German or some when you went in India? Or you are more Mexican when you went to India? Than being in Mexico, in Germany, or in US? Yes? You, you, do you recognize who you are a little bit more? Right? Is, the, is that who you are? No. But you feel like that because the conditions sets up like that. You go into the place where you don't feel totally familiar, unfamiliar with what you're familiar with. You, 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 you feel you're separated from them. Your sense of self become much stronger. And you don't have to go far away. You just have to miss your cup of coffee in the morning. <laughs> Hot chocolate. <laughs> And you know, who are you? So, so but you're not that. So by lose, not getting your cup of coffee, not, by not getting your, uh, what you're addicted to, definitely helps you to recognize something. That means it's an opportunity to know that's not who you are. And that's probably the only way when people are able, able to overcome addictions, not recognize yourself. Self-realization is the best way to overcome addiction. Because you're addicted to individual personality, which is addicted to certain things, which need to be, you needed to have it because that's who you are. Nobody, nobody wants to not exist. Your addiction is helping you to exist. I exist for my coffee. And that's what people say probably sometimes. You said, how you can imagine life without coffee? How you can imagine life without the chocolate? How you can imagine life without put space, put your stuff there? How you can imagine without, have you put your thing there? What is it? Without this, without that. You see? How you can imagine. But the whole idea is, you should imagine without that. It's your opportunity. Then you, then you feel uh, some sense of who you are beyond your coffee and hot chocolate, or meat, or something like that. You know, like I heard somebody saying, somebody saying, saying like that. I cannot imagine without the meat or something like that. Somebody, some people are experiencing that here in Serenity Ridge, right? <laughs> you don't have to imagine. <laughs> you can imagine with. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You have these seeds of the past uh, karmic tendency. So, what is the relation of that storehouse with awareness or the recognition of innate awareness? I mean, because it says it can dry up the whole ocean. So, so, so can one moment of recognition, is it that powerful that no matter how much accumulation? Mm -hmm. I mean, again, you know, one, one moment of recognition, uh, one strong moment of recognition can dry up everything. But when we, when we think about recognition, uh, we have recognition, but it's not strong, um, how say, strong familiar enough. You know, we, we question about it all the time. We might have a good recognition, but recognition with question. 
and now those all those questions makes bring us, brings it back you know if there is a recognition without the question then in the teaching they talk about usage of word in like Dzogchen they talk talk about um, confidence certainty ding top martha uh, uh, i don't know there are many many words like that in Dzogchen teaching like certainty like basically certainty there's some certainty there like Lada, Dinto, Martachu. Yeah, if there's that kind of certainty is there, yes, I think, yes. So this morning exercise when we did, you know, it's very simple. Principle is very simple, right? If you look you when you feel I, me, who am I? I am somebody. I am a daughter. I am a father. I am a lawyer. I am a doctor. I am a man. I am a Tibetan. This, so you identify with your nationality, your race, your sex, your role, your skill, your conditions. You identify with something, right? And, and among all those things also, of course, some, some things are much more stronger than other things. And how you define that is the identity which produces suffering, identity which produces less suffering, identity which produ produces some sense of joy. So these are kind of categories of identity. So the one who produces a lot of suffering, because you're very much attached to it, you grasp it. So idea here is to you have to let go of it because it will go so you have to let go of it before you before it goes that's always the fun fun part of it. that makes sense in life that's you know maybe one good advice anything which goes maybe it's it's good to let it go when it's going when you have a choice, let it go. Because you participate in letting go rather than something gone away from you. It doesn't leave scar. It doesn't produce so much suffering, less suffering. So it's going to go. So the exercise is what we're doing this morning. It's a sense of self, OK. I'm not a father. Father is my role. I'm more than the father. If I am only father, for sure I will suffer a lot. If I am more than the father, the sense of me, which is beyond the father, is to help. And that sense of me beyond the father will help me to be a good father. Because that father will have more playfulness. That father is more open. That father will let go of something. If I'm only a father, then that father will not let go. In a way, when I'm letting go, I'm not letting go something or somebody, I'm letting go of myself. In the end, Nobody wanted to let go of themselves in samsara. It's hard to let go of themselves. In bodhisattva, yeah, maybe possible. But in samsara, self is very important. So this, when you exercise like this, some sense of self beyond all those things, I think is a nice exercise, nice exercise. It's maybe, it's like a, during a good massage or something like that. And sometimes you, for a moment, you, you forget everything. Anytime 
When you, any time when you forget everything, it's called relaxation. Right? What are, you, what are you trying to say? I'm going to relax. What does that mean? It means I'm going to forget about everything. And the best, best way of forgetting everything is to realize oneself. Imagine a whole life like being an actor or actress. Imagine, right? When people are acting, like in Hollywood, imagine there may be one month a role of Buddha, like the little Buddha movie, right? A role of some evil. The one who is playing the role of Buddha is not, so much, is not so much becoming a Buddha. Or the, the one who is playing the role of evil is not so much evil. It's the playing role of evil in Buddha. They, they look like a suffering, they look like a killing each other, they look like a being mean or they look like being good. But they're not changing any states. It just appears to be like that. In a way, we are like that a little bit. So, so basically, being less serious, right? And the bottom line is being less serious. <laughs> 